Hello, everyone. First of all, I'd like to thank the organizers of this CAP conference 2021 when it remains a challenging time for all of us. Also, I'd like to thank you for giving me the chance to speak here today. Let me just start by introducing myself. My name is Chisato Ikuta from JAXA, a space agency in Japan. I'm currently in charge of public communications of the X-ray mission, Quizm. Besides, I was responsible for Hayabusa 2 outreach campaign when the spacecraft explored the target object on site. The objective of this presentation is to outline the Hayabusa 2 outreach campaign during the near asteroid operation phase. My talk is of particular interest to those of you who have to carry out outreach activities of headline creating events under minimal resources. I'm glad if my presentation will give some hints to such problems. My talk is divided into five parts as the slide shows. Let me start with explaining the Hayabusa 2 mission briefly. Hayabusa 2 is an asteroid explorer and sample return mission. Launched in December 2014, Hayabusa 2 took about three and a half years to reach the target object Ryugu and stayed about one and a half year near the asteroid. Multiple critical operations characterize the Hayabusa 2 mission as the video clip shows. Before the arrival, we didn't know much about the object. We didn't know the exact shape, the rotation speed and axis, or the geographical features. These data were indispensable for the critical operations. This image shows the real Ryugu. The surface condition of Ryugu was utterly different from that expected previously. At first glance, it wasn't easy to find a place flat enough to conduct a touchdown to collect the sample. Facing the target, the Hayabusa 2 team decided to reconsider the strategy and change the timeline of the operation sequence. Imagine the feeling of the outreach team. We were excited and nervous. We couldn't fix the implementation plan of the outreach campaign until the Hayabusa 2 team determined the operation plan. Our outreach team feel the pressure. Because Hayabusa 2 is a famous and popular mission, the demand for information from the public and the media was extremely high. People become familiar with rich content provided by for example, NASA. It was natural to assume that public expectation level was high. At the same time, we believed that Hayabusa 2 gave us a unique opportunity that people got interested in space science. Therefore, we set our feasible goals as the slide shows. Meanwhile, I must admit JAXA's character that reluctant to allocate resources for outreach activities. Although our outreach team could get a special budget for Hayabusa 2 outreach campaign, the amount was minimal. In short, we faced challenges. The limitation of our resources, high demand from the public, and lack of time. Then we decided to adopt an implementation strategy of leaning on the media to spread information. To encourage journalists to cover Hayabusa 2 stories, we held press conferences frequently, posted articles on our website. Engineers and scientists explained various aspects of the mission by themselves. We provided footages and snapshots taken in the operation room. 
Also, we created CG animation to help people understand the complicated movement of the spacecraft. Images taken by Hayabusa 2 were released as soon as possible. Most importantly, these materials were distributed under the Creative Commons license and shared with the general public as well. Our case told us the importance of user-friendly licensing. The public broadcaster in Japan created the CG animations based on the real data of Hayabusa 2 and the collaboration with JAXA, but people did not utilize them because of the complicated procedure to use. Although we know the importance of footages, we could not afford to contract a lead line to distribute the place. Instead, we used the file transfer service. When new footages or images were ready, we uploaded the files and sent a link to download with some information to registered media representatives. Fortunately, this file sharing flow had merit in addition to the cost performance. Firstly, the media could know what's going on thanks to the email notification. Secondly, writers, reporters, and video editors could obtain the material at, at the same time. The method enabled the editors and reporters to work together to produce on-air ready contents or with articles smoothly and quickly. As a result, the stories about Hayabusa 2 were shared globally. For instance, this figure presents the number of articles posted on internet news sites. You may find several peaks corresponding to each crit critical operations. You can also see that about 1,000 articles per month were published constantly. Comparing with the other press releases, I think this number is still large. One reason for this could be editorial or featured articles. Another reason could be coverages about the regular press briefings. As another example, let me show how people share and spread the news on Twitter. This graph demonstrates that Twitter had become a good and direct communication channel with the public. Since its launch, the Hayabusa 2 team kept communicating with people even in the cruising phase that any dramatic events were not supposed to happen. Because the official Twitter of Hayabusa 2 accumulated many followers, Twitter plays a key role to share updates when the team conducted the critical operations. This graph shows the number of Hayabusa 2 related tweets. Okay, in my conclusion, I think the outreach campaign was successful overall. Stories of Hayabusa 2 made chances that people become familiar with space science and the process of space exploration. Now, just to summarize, let's quickly look at the main points. Long-term engagement with the public is vital for the success of outreach of a big project. When we share information as much as possible and as transparent as possible, the media and the funds voluntarily spread the stories. Open access of visuals is essential to maximize the ripple effect. That brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention.